Hey, Traverse, good morning, Rob Moffat. You guys want to talk about uh, sunflower seeds. Can you use the Pennington cheap ones from Walmart to grow microgreens? I've been making some little uh, uh, microgreen and bean sprout videos. I'm getting into it. I don't know a lot about it yet. Uh, and I was growing some broccoli seeds. They're wonderful, easy to grow. But that one pound bag is like 20 bucks. So it's always a cheapskate, frugal person trying to, <laughs> trying to find something more, uh, less costly. And I was looking into the sunflower seeds. People make microgreens out of them. You can get 40 pounds from Walmart, $24.97. But everyone online said, don't use these. They probably have pesticides. And you did, wouldn't want to use them, if, even even if you, did, you put them in the soil or, or growing medium, because you could still end up getting pesticides in, in your sunflowers if they were on the seeds. Because they would get in the soil, then you'd water, and the water would carry it into the plant. So you don't want that. So I looked online. They had Prairie Melody. It says uh, no synthetic fertilizers, no GMOs, and no pesticides. But it's 40 pounds for, no, 12 pounds for 27. So... It's about three times the cost. So what I did is I emailed the people at Pennington and I asked them, do you guys put in pesticides? Because I was thinking about growing some for microgreens. Says, thank you for contacting Pennington Seeds. Our black oil sunflower seeds are for wildlife use only and are not packaged for human consumption. We do not treat our bird seed with pesticides as this would be harmful to the birds that consume it. There's no pesticides here. So this costs 25 bucks for 40 pounds. This costs 27 bucks for 12 pounds. When I run out of these, <laughs> I'm going to get some of these. Now, I'm still not trusting what somebody says. I came out with a video a while back on, I, I did some investigation. What was the uh, most effective, low cost method of getting rid of pesticides on your vegetables and fruits? And I think it was in, uh, Consumer Reports. They tested a bunch of different methods and they found out a very simple baking soda solution, a one teaspoon in two cups of water or 5.3 tablespoons in one gallon. Mix it up, baking soda water, and uh, soak it for 12 to 15 minutes. So this is a very inexpensive, low cost way to get rid of the majority of pesticides. It doesn't get rid of all pesticides, just the ones that were tested in the Consumer Report. If you go to this video, there's a link to the uh, reports at Consumer Reports and the online study. So that could be very helpful. If you're still worried that there may be pesticides on your sunflower seeds, that could be a way to get rid of them. Since you're going to be soaking the seeds anyway, I don't know if the baking soda and water would hurt the germination or not, but it certainly would help reduce any pesticides. So I'm trying some experiments. Don't look at this tray. I've ordered some trays. And uh, this is just to, to grow different uh, methods, different amounts, different temperatures, and so on, to see what's going on. Uh, this is my broccoli. I've got some sunflowers go start here. So we'll be seeing what's happening. And like I said, when I run out of the uh, ones on Amazon for $27, I'm going to go to Walmart and get the ones. <laughs> I'm going to get the ones for 40 pounds. So guys, hope that was helpful to you. Maybe uh, solve some riddles about pesticides and your sunflower seeds. Come back and watch more. I put new stuff every week. Been doing it for 14 years. Got over a thousand videos, a bunch of different playlists and different subjects, new stuff all the time. And cool people down at the bottom. I feature no relation to me. They would not anyway. So you might want to want to check out their channel. <laughs> and like I said, new stuff all the time. Take care. Hope it was helpful to you. See you out there.